Right, yeah, I've been travelling along this bearing that I had from the warships and I've come across this. I haven't got a clue what it is. Unless the warships have slowed down a lot, it can't be them, it must be something else. What it is, I ain't got the faintest idea. Um, tempted to cheat and use the outside view, <laughs> like I normally do, like I normally do. Yeah, why not? Because you might be chasing your shadows, you know, it could be just nothing. It might be a patrol vessel, if it's a patrol vessel then somehow we got on board with the damn thing. Pointless attacking patrol vessels. It's not a patrol. Yes, it is a patrol vessel. Or fishing smack. <laughs> Why is these two guys always standing on top of the bridge? Oh, three guys. Sorry, I beg your pardon. There's three of them. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Can go past them without being detected by the looks of it. Uh, time's getting close to daylight hours. I want to stay on this bearing just in case. Angle down a bit more. I will get away from them. <laughs> These are the stupid things I do in the game. I don't normally show, I've always fought for once. I'll show you some of these things that occur. I mean, they are of interest if you're thinking about getting the game and playing it yourself because you will encounter things like this. These things are bloody nuisance. How fast is he going? We're not going for much faster than what he's... I'll tell you what, he looks as if he's actually coming down across this way. That's going to be a bloody nuisance, isn't it? Let's have a... Let's try and get, a, try and get that exactly on it. Yeah, it's a bit of a cheap, but yeah, he's coming down in this direction. Damn. Ah, oh, that's a nuisance. I could increase speed. I certainly don't want to encounter him, that's for sure. Yeah, I know I could come way out and way up and go around him. Like I said, I want to stay on this bearing. Just in case there is something. Because I'm still following the warships. Oh, obviously, they got they, they went a long time ago. <laughs> They're going so fast. I might have been able to, No, I wouldn't have been able to keep on. I can't remember what speed I can actually go. It's 20 something knots, I know that. No, that's not a standard thing on uh, when you first start the game either. The reason I can go so fast is because uh, I've increased the well, because you get prestige points, you can spend them on various characters in your submarine, and uh, I've spent quite a few on the uh, people in the engine room. As you can see, the battery you've charged right up full maximum. The engine noise signature is way down. Uh, so the detection is actually harder, and my speed is quite a bit up. I think I have shown you this before. I can't remember quite honestly. 
Mind you, that's probably on my other channel. That's the thing. So much I did on the other channel. I, think. And I didn't want to start again. And obviously, this is still the same game. So unless you watched my other stuff on uh, Not One Gus channel, then you obviously missed a lot. Well, we're going to keep going in this direction. I'm, I'm sure we're going to get past him without being seen. It's the daylight that. I think that's 24. I think it gets light at 6 o'clock. But I want to be past him by 5. That gives us more than an hour, so we should be able to do it. I can't see why not. I think I'm worrying about nothing. But I do want to go down there in this direction. I want to find out what happened. Why those warships are going so fast. Like I said, it could be a convoy, it could be nothing, just sank in the game. Just sank to pick your interest. I mean, I have come across things like that before, I swore to all. Where was, where was it? I'm in here, when I was in this area around here. You get a lot of escort groups coming out of here. And I was, I spent ages around this area. Which is all documented on, on uh, my other channel. Oh, we're going quite fast, yeah. Yeah, they, they can't be doing that. I can't get a reading on their speed. Normally you get a reading on the speed. They must be doing about six knots or something like that. I mean, they're only a little patrol vessel or a fishing smack. So they're not going to be able to keep up with us. It's just I don't want whether they can keep up or not. It's, it, it's actually material. I just don't want to be sighted by them. Yeah, out of curiosity, I just want to see uh, the speed of the ship. I can't get a reading on that, so I'll have to do it manually. What you do is just give them a, put a point on there, wait. Uh, it's best to wait three minutes, but if you just want to wait a minute, you can get a good read on the speed. It's best to wait three. I will click uh, every minute. I'm just interested, that's all. I do silly things like this in the game. Just to pass the time. <laughs> I could actually speed it up if I wanted. Normally I don't. I uh, will do after I click, just do a minute and then I'll speed it up and then click another minute. Alright, that should give, ooh. that should give that once we, um, uh, let's speed that up a bit. There you go. I think it's around as close to the minute. I should put it back to normal speed. And uh, we should be able to work it out just from that. It is. But it's not quite as accurate. Alright, so let's get another minute here. Alright, uh, almost there. Okay, right. And what we do is we take this here, put it on, uh, stop that, that's going to get my nerves. <laughs> This should give us a speed. Right, so what you have to do, if you're just doing it at a minute, you have to times it by three. So that's it's showing 150, you knock the last digit off, and you times 15 by three. That, right, so that will give us um, a 
4.5 on L45, which is not 45 knots. Well, it is. It's uh, 4.5 knots, right? So that would be probably doing five knots or something like that. So we put it on there. It was see there. Now it gives us exactly. It's doing f that ship is doing five knots, and that's how you measure and uh, get an accurate uh, measurement on the speed of the, sh of the enemy ships. Or even a friendly ship, if you're that way inclined. And that's how it's done. But quite often you can get a reading anyway off of it, because um, the game's been dumbed down a lot compared to the other Silent Hunter games. But this is the one that on the only one that actually works on my machine, <laughs> and it's the one I enjoy the most. I like the idea of doing the, the simple uh, uh, shooting. Uh, shooting. <laughs> The simple calculations with uh, torpedoes it does mean that you can't hit anything close. A uh, long way off, sorry, not close. You have to be a bit closer than normal. But uh, not to say I can't do it. I can do it. It's just I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and I make loads of wrong calculations. What it is what it is? I have to say. Let's just let's put that down. Where is that ship anyway? Uh, Silent Hunter 5 is the worst for this out of all of the uh, Silent Hunter games. Why are you not showing? Right, oh, that's why. Right, let's get right to it. Oh, brilliant. What happened there? <laughs> So right, the game's disappeared. Um, hmm, hmm. Let's see. For me, the game's disappeared. That's it's come back now. <laughs> <coughs> I went, to, went on to Windows for some reason. I didn't press the Windows key. It went on Windows for some reason. Right. Now, from that, you're supposed to be able to get. Uh, where is it? Stop doing it. Let me uh, unknown ship. Normally that comes up. Let's say angle on the bow, which is showing you roughly. What, that's even completely wrong. It's guessing, right? Really? No. The angle on the bow is there. Or is it? No, it's not. I'm even worse. It's there. About there, or probably about there actually. That's how angle on the bell. So then you click that in. You put your speed in, which we've already calculated, which is 5. That's it, 78 knots, right? <laughs> really? 5 knots. That is 78. What is it like? And obviously, your range, which is a simple thing to work out in front of there. I don't know why I'm doing all this. Uh, where is it? Click on that. Click on the center there, and that will give us our range, which I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's three, three thousand and fifty. So we we're typing three thousand. That's actually getting more and more and more. It's guessed it already. It does guess some of it for you. Uh, we'll go 3,100. I'm not going to shoot it. Yet. Um, that's strange because normally you get a book and you have to identify it. It's just coming up as unknown shit. I don't say wrong. It surprised me. It normally comes up like what it thinks it is, and you have to look through your book. But, and Although this is quite an actually easy, we're very close to it actually, but more often than not I'm a long way off and you can you cannot identify the ship very well. So I'm always guessing what type of ship it is and quite often it's wrong and you really need to guess the right ship, quite honest. Um have to do our bearing as well, which you do Oh, we can do it, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, okay, bearing is where you put the periscope. 
like that. And it will calculate whether it's going to fire. It won't fire directly at the ship. It will fire in front of it somewhere. Probably all you people already, already know, there's people watching your videos, probably already even know that they know how to play the game. And there are some people that now they might wander across it. Um, and not actually know why that my recognition manual is not coming up. I do not know. I do not know the, the reason for that. I'll just click it on and then we'll click back and maybe that that's our problem. No, it's still not showing it, is it? Uh -oh. Well, I broke our lock. Right. Lock back on again. No, it's still not coming up. And then you you got this other thing. I think I've actually used it where you can uh, calculate the range using your periscope as well. I mean, it's a cheat. I mean, clicking on that. The uh, the, the hardcore gamers don't do things like I do. They do it differently. They do it the correct way. I understand all that, but that's not for me. I'm I just I'm a casual gamer. <laughs> I say casual. I am a casual gamer. Uh, I just enjoy playing this game a lot, and I find it relaxing. That's one of the reasons I play this game, and I do love submarine games. I'm playing quite a few submarine games. Uh, that, that crash dive. I should probably be some more of that. And I'm also playing Silent Hunter Online. Now I may show you some of that as well. S well, so yeah, I've only just started sort of playing. I've had an account for a long, long time. I just haven't played it. <laughs> just haven't got around to it. But I'm playing it a fair bit now. I've got two submarines in that game. But yeah, that's even easier to play than what this game is. <laughs> and I think I've been rambling on for long enough. You're probably bored to death. Sorry about that. <laughs> 